Hi everyone, it is Sunday, February 3rd, actually Super Bowl Sunday, but I'm still sitting in my bed. Um, it is just about noon. I've been up, but I just came back to bed because I was going to write in my journal. Um, I want I, I, First of all, I just want to tell you where I'm coming from today. It has been just crazy around here in just, oh, so much is going on. Well, I think I've mentioned in my other videos that my mother-in-law is in the hospital. She's 97, and she had a, a turn for the worst yesterday in the sense that she's in so much pain. So I um, told Richard that they need to ask the nurses to up her medication from Tylenol to something a little stronger just so that she's not suffering. So they did that, so she's on morphine now, so that's all kind of stabilized for the day and uh, so you know of course everybody's in tears and crying and stress I mean it's just difficult when your parent is not well and then the night before my niece uh, she's a cheerleader for one of our um, football the Canadian Football League so she is she's kind of like the Dallas Cowboys but for the Edmonton Eskimos so she's very fit, very healthy, but three times now she's had this very weird, it's called PTA, and it's this abscess that grows behind your tonsils. So they have to go in and drain it with syringes. It's just gross and awful, and then they have to give her steroids to make sure her throat doesn't close over. So my sister and I were texting and talking all through the night, so I mean... There was that worry and concern because you don't want her throat to close over. And then yesterday I woke up with a migraine from hell. But of course I don't want to tell Richard, but it was kind of hard not to. But all day long I was just curled up on the couch just trying to get through, you know. I, I felt so awful I couldn't even get up and take anything. And so, um, but I don't want to put that burden on him. And, you know, it's just, oh, I just want to say it's really hard when you have a chronic illness and other people are suffering and you feel like you're like a pain in the butt. So I'm trying to man up, as they say, and try to be tough and strong. So Richard just left. I'm sitting here by myself and I thought, I want to talk to you guys because you're kind of like my journal in a way. I feel so much better when I talk to you. So, so when I feel like that, I grab a journal. And the one that was handy this morning was my Remains of the Day journal. And I looked in this and I created this in 2010. And I've noticed that on Pinterest now, it keeps popping up and everyone's like, oh, I want to make one of those. And I want to make one of those. And I actually have a box full of stuff to make these. It is an amazing adventure to create one of these and an even more amazing to fill it up. So I thought I'm going to, I had posted it when I first made it and that was four years ago. So that's why this video is called uh, Remains of the Day Journal Revisited because I want to show you what it starts to look like when it gets full. So I'm going to do kind of a journal fl flip. I think that's what they're called, yeah. The cover of this is part fabric. That's fabric, 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 and part paper. This was a card my mother gave me. Can you see the three little girls? One, two, three, because I have three sisters. And that man there looks so similar to my father. And so this card was just so cool. I can't remember why she gave it to me, but... I saved it and I put it into my Remains of the Day journal because I just love the nostalgic, warm feeling I get when I look at this card with this man reading to his daughters and uh, we even have a picture of us almost similar to that with these Sunday go meeting hats, you know? And so it's just, I will put in the uh, down bar the link to how to make these. But it is just such a cool process, the making of it. And then on here I've got a vintage button from my great aunt Dorothy's button box. So this is like close to 100 years old. It's actually made out of different threads and then there's embroidery on the top of it. 
So I only had this one, so I thought I'd put it on this journal. And then just ribbon closure like that. But I thought I'd just take you through another flip as to where I'm at in this journal. So the opening page was this gate. It was like the portal. I can hardly read what I wrote on here, which is kind of cool about journaling. You just journal, and then it's out there, and it's just words, and I know they mean a lot, but I'll have to spend some day. It says something about, I have to say how much I enjoyed creating this journal. And can you see the random stitch marks all through, all over? It's just one of those textury things that you love to touch and just, oh, makes you feel good. So I also have this um, charm, and it is a moon, because my nickname is Moon. This little boy was chanting this to me all the time. I've seen many moons in my day, but I've never seen a moon like a Moonica. So Moonica stuck with me, and then moon. And so that's just representing who I am. So instead of putting my initial, I put that on a piece of lace. And then I put my initial here because I kind of want to personalize it, obviously. And this was a picture of me. I had a mask and rhinestone. I was at a Mardi Gras party. So it can hardly see me. So I put vellum over it and just said, this is a picture of me in a Mardi Gras party. Stitch down the front, the M, and then it says my story. And uh, this was all about just um, the GI diet. So that was four years ago, I guess. And I need to go back to that diet. But you journal every which way. Like the writing goes this way. Always creating. It's just a modge podge of who you are. And uh, this is just journaling. I finally created a garden mini book. So I put flowers down there. This is me with my grandbabies. I think there was only four of them at the time. Let's see. Turner, Chili, Ozzy, Trip. Yeah. Oh, look at the boo-boos. There was only four of them at the time. And I just love this picture. I just look so happy with all my baby boys. And look at that cool print. I got these. Um, Richard had a whole bunch of art magazines and art magazines have amazing photographs in them and he because he's a graphic designer they have a lot of those so I took pages out of it and it's much the same as you know you're creating magazines with signatures that's what this is and I even have room for another signature in the middle here if I ever run out so yeah so this page oh this was um Chili's birthday, and I, I corn, oh, I can't even talk. I corn wrote his hair, and he looks so cute. So he's two there, and then here's just a piece of lace on a piece of plain cardstock, zigzag down, and I journaled on that. A lot of writing in this journal, and then this was Bloom, and I'm not sure. Oh, pictures of a mini book that I made for Gina. She's my niece with my. Favorite homemade glimmer ghetto mist. So that was the book. And I'd sent it to her for her birthday. So I kept a little photo of it and stuck it in there. And this is, uh, see, this is March 26, 2010. A time, great time I had with Deanne. I don't know what we were doing. But if you notice, the pages are all random. And here's another really cool picture. And, uh... Shannon bought the boys over, and then another. You just create and use everything you have. Cards. One of the things she's famous for um, is telling you to use the back side of um, envelopes, that security envelopes, because they have windows in them, and the, the texture on them, like the prints, are so cool. Little bits of lace here and there. Look at the journaling, hey? So you create the book first and you come back on some of the plain pages and put uh, pictures. So these are Easter goodies for the boys that I took that photo. And this was just a bouquet flowers Richard brought me for Easter. And oh, it's just, it's really an, a really cool, I really recommend everybody make this, you know. Look, I'm officially 20 pounds down. Hooray, hooray. This was a 
pay stub when I used to work for the school board, I had saved these and it's in here upside down and that doesn't matter, but it just adds for everything has a, a flap and a, and here's Turner when he's little. Look at him, boo -boo, and look at Ozzy, little sweetheart. I just did a video actually on my other channel, BC Doula 9090. I've been doing a day in the life and I'm just not sure. I, I keep uploading them onto this channel, then I have to delete them, upload them on that channel. And I'm just thinking it'd just be easier to use one channel. Like Yoli Bean just started with her girl chat and she was saying she was thinking of starting a new channel. So you guys let me know what you think. Um, I'm starting... I'm doing a day in the life. It's that fierce and fabulous um, uh, series, but I think I'm going to start from now on just using my one channel, and I will title it "Day in the Life Fierce and Fabulous." So if you don't want to watch it, you don't have to watch it. But for right now, I spent the day with three out of the five grandsons yesterday. It was kind of fun, but these two were in there, so I'm just looking at how much they've changed. So sweet babies. Um, so this is just, I had a great day, enjoyed spending time with the boys. And this was when I made, um, we created that little door for our tree outside. That's ex a picture of the actual door outside on the tree. And it's Carson's door and it's getting so old and worn now. And oh, tucked in this pocket are the notes that the boys have left for Carson. It's so cute. So I'll show them when they get older because they, they've left their little, there's another one in there, notes for Carson. And here it is again. You can see the sun shining through and there's this little door in our big tree and how it looks. It's so, so sweet and so fun. I love magic. See, Carson's home, Master Nana added finishing touches. And this was a card my friend Judy. She makes a zentacle, I guess these are called. Every day she gets up in the morning and she just starts sketching and coloring it in on greeting cards. And then when she gives you a card, she gave me a couple of blank ones, but that's her greeting cards. So that's, you know, when you're getting those, they're from Judy. I love them. So I journaled inside the card because I wanted to keep the card. These are my prayer flags that I made for outside. I've got some, this was again, Art 42. And you, each flag came from somebody different from all over the world. And you hang them outside and you let the, the, the true uh, Buddhist sense is you, they never touch the ground and you let the wind and the rain and the, the um, elements shred them and take all your troubles away. And after the spring, when the spring came, there was only one little shred of them left. It was really awesome. I was like, where'd they go? But uh, yeah, th those look so cool in my yard. I want to make them again. Because that was April of 2010. And a thank you card I got. This was beautiful. This was from my daughter-in-law, Sheena. And uh, she wrote me the most. Look at how many words beautiful 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 card it was oh so touching so i keep that in here see and it says here may 20th our fifth grand beautiful grandson was born isn't that neat so yeah you've got oh and here is one of those envelopes i was talking about I'm not sure i think this is a picture of oh yeah these are pictures of me and some of my brothers and sisters that's me on the far left right here. There's me and my sister and my brother and my brother. And I think there had to be more. My mom had a baby every year, so I'm sure there's a few more. There's seven of us. So this is one, two, three, four. So my sister must have been still a babe in arms. So this was... This was a Photoshop. There used to be a Canadian Living magazine, and they used to come to our house periodically and do photo shoots for my dad, and we'd be in the magazine because he was a, a professional football player, and he was very, very good. This is me on my honeymoon. Check out the shirt, and check out the skinny mini. We stayed in these cabins in Jasper, and uh, it's me and our honeymoon, 1972. 
well. And we go back to those cabins all the time. So, yeah, you can put anything in here. Old photos, just... It's just randomness. Now these I haven't journaled. Some pages I have, some haven't. This is that other piece of the other page we saw. This, I love this greeting card because it's a black couple jumping the broom. And there's the broom there. And then this is me, I think it's me. Oh no, it's my sister Mickey on her first communion day. So now there's more of us. One, two, three, four, five, six. So my young, younger brother there. And there's one more after him. See, that's what I told you. We have those Sunday go to meeting hats on. See? They look like paper plates. <laughs> I'm sure some of you my age can relate to those chapeaus. So, and here it's just, um, I needed a place to journal my feelings for this moment. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice. Well, you know how it goes. And yeah, funny. I don't know what that was about. I'll read it later. This was just an image from a, it's actually like foolscap, like um, newsprint. And this was my doggy Wiggles. He passed away. He was 17 years old. And this was his uh, health record. So I saved that. Here I haven't even written on that. Now this is kind of funny that I picked up this journal today. You know synchronicity? Picked up this journal today. Haven't looked in this journal for a long time. Miss Seeley's Blues, the color purple movie. You can see that. I am recording. I'm going to show you guys because you won't believe it. Just a minute. I thought, oh, today would be a good day to watch the color purple. You can see on the TV there. I'll just second. I, you won't believe this because that's what I wanted to look. And there it is on the TV. It's going to, the, can you see it? The color purple. How weird is that? Like, I'm literally taping this movie right now. Now, that's weird. I've seen the movie a bazillion times. I don't know why I felt like I needed to watch it again today when I pick up this journal. And the song is in the book. Weird, weird, weird. See, it says Whoopi Goldberg as Miss Seeley. That's so cool. But you know what? I think when synchronicity happens like that, like I haven't touched this in years and haven't seen the movie in years, and I'm taking. When this happens, people, it means to me that you are doing exactly what you're meant to be doing in that moment. And it's a sign that comes to you like, yep, you wanted to talk to all your friends today, you're doing the right thing. So that's very cool. That was a cool moment. I'm gonna journal that moment. Um, Kenya washed coffee. I think I got this from a, we have a store, um, it's called White Avenue here. And this particular store, is where you um, buy things and all the profits go to the countries that created them and the people that work in the store are all volunteers so I think that's where I bought that coffee it was good too and here's another this was like um, because they're graphic arts magazines they have a lot of advertisements in how to graphically create this was for some tea and they're just, because I think they're promoting their graphics, the, the pictures are just beautiful. If you can go in an old bookstore somewhere and try and find graphic magazines, I'm telling you, they're gorgeous. Secrets. Hmm, what secrets are in here? What is this? Oh, this was the answer to Chili and Trip's letter. Dear Chili and Trip, thank you for your letter. Your garden name is Lion and Trips is Dandy. See you soon. Be nice to the garden, Carson. You are so smart. I gave you Smarties. Giggle, giggle. These things just make me smile, you know? Turner, 2010. And this was just a embossing thing I was trying to um, play with. This is like one of the fake images, not fake, but replica kind of of the Beatles album but it's more like the symphony and look at the harp, kind of funny. 
But again, no journaling, but the page is still very... You can still enjoy the journal, even though you haven't written in it. That's just a... Um, we used to have a Volkswagen, and this is every time the car got um, um, oil check. And I mean, really, you know how you save all this stuff? And you, you need to go through your junk journals, I mean, junk drawers, pull everything out, get a big cardboard box, throw it in there. Scraps of fabric, anything that, you know, your inside, uh, your side tables, your end tables, go through those. Any papers, anything that just seems so insignificant, because when you put it on here, it looks cool. This is just a piece of brown, you know, and then you get labeling, and that's where you, that's where she'll tell you to start anyway. So if you want to get started on, on it, before you go to her, it's an online course. It's so worth it, honestly. This is just some stamps that run an envelope. And you stitch it in, and a picture, I love this picture of a heart in a hand. It's a rock, a heart rock. Just stitched around. Yeah. So I'll go through kind of quickly the rest of it. This is the Kennedy family on a postcard. I love the Kennedys. I always, I was a real Kennedy lover. And uh, I have a silver dollar with his face on it. I, I just love them. So I want to save that. See, this is just more places for you to journal. And just little strips of scrap, scrap of paper. Paper that you may not necessarily like. This was just from a little note, you know, those grocery list things that you get from Michael's. Little birdie. It's just to me on this here. That is a football a ticket to a football game on the other side, the CFL football game. And the ad on the back was Jesse. Because they always have advertisements. I don't know what he, the ad was for. Years. So I saved it. It's kind of funny. Jesse just popping up everywhere, you know. And this is Wild Barley Garland, because it tells you how to make it. This, I was spritzing something, so I saved that piece. And then I took this word healing and put it on top. And this is Mary, of Gua our mother of Guadalupe. I love Mary. She is like my homie, my bestie, my BFF. If I pray to anyone, it's always to Mary. I have a statue of Mary right here beside my bed. I'll show you guys. I'll move it this way so you don't get sick. There she is. I've had this since I was eight years old. So, yeah, Mary is my person. That's who I pray to. That's who I go to. And I know she's the mother of God, but Mary, I connect more with her. I guess, if that makes sense. So yeah, this is in, when my kids were in university. Lordy, lordy, did I say a lot of novenas. And you know what novenas are. You say the same prayer for nine days so that nothing, you know, your wish will come true. Oh my goodness, I wore out rosary beads, I'm telling you. And those kids were in school. It's kind of funny now. But Mary got them through. Thank you, Mary. And this is just, you know, more. This was a bag from Farmers Fresh. Some farms. Ticket to Vancouver. This is another pocket. I a lot of sorry my fingers are in the way. A lot of things you spritzed and you thought, oh I didn't like it. Save it. Put it in the box. Because you're gonna have to do a lot of collecting before you begin creating. So just go through that's just a blank check from an old checkbook that you know when you're not using it anymore, you can throw it away. This card here was from my dear friend Laura. I've mentioned her a lot. And it says, with a friend at your side, no road seems so long. That's how I feel. Or no road seems too long. That's how I feel about you guys. Just, you know somebody's on the other side of this camera that's listening to me. And I appreciate it. I made this card into a pocket. And Laura gave me this card on an airplane trip. I had helped her out with something personal. And so she came over on, a, I think it was a Sunday, because we were leaving on the Wednesday, and sat me down and told me she was taking me for four days to Vegas. And I mean, it was like a trip, a dream come true. The things that she 
surprised me with throughout the way. So we got her on the plane. She gave me this card. It was full of money for me to have so I could have a little spending money from her. I was like, oh my goodness. She came into, it's a long story, but um, it was just something that happened that was just somebody showing somebody their gratitude and you just have to sit back and say thank you. And it was un believable it was beautiful and so yeah that was the card so um again more blankness this was oh this is my um a notice to, to register for voting because i'm dual citizen so this was her voting in the u.s and that was my notice to vote more pretty paper and that's yeah all my info this little thing behind where it says Richard Monica, 25 years. We had a hippie anniversary party, and these were the invitations. So I didn't want to throw it away. It says, their memories like dreams are theirs alone and tell their story. And so you see the moons there. It was so much fun. Oh my goodness, you should have seen us. We look like fools, but we had a great time. And again, here's one of those security envelopes. And you can just tear it off and make a pocket out of it. And I made some ribbon into tape to hold it together. Just a tag stitched. Found this really cool set of uh, postcards in the States, I think. And they're black cowboys and very vintage. Had nowhere to put it, so I stitched it and put it in there. This is a sketch. I was thinking of doing a, a mixed media painting. I can't, I can't even see what that says, but she's going somewhere grabbing her dolly. Here's another one with one of those envelopes. Yes, I'm still in my house coat. But as I go on and on showing you this, I'm feeling oh, so much better. I feel like jumping up and I'll have to watch my Color Purple movie later because I don't feel like staying in bed anymore. So thank you. You helped me and you didn't even know it. I like that. I have this dollar store felt sticky stuff. And it's so bright on this page because it was kind of just kind of plainish. And behind this is just one of those, you know, it's inside of an old wallet or purse, and I just sewed it in here and made it into a clear pocket. And some more of those extraordinarily wonderful photographs from a graphics book. Very neat. And you can sew labels on top of labels on top of stuff. There is no wrong way to do it. This was some perfume by this Teddy Bernard, and this was quite a story. I went to Guadeloupe and Martinique with Jesse and his wife Shannon when they it was Jesse was competing in an, in a worldwide track meet there. This guy Teddy uh, Bernard. When we were in Martinique. Um, my cousin had bought some perfume from him in New York and she never got it. So I speak French, so I called him and I said, oh, I'm in Martinique. And so he sent a car to pick us up. We went right to his perfumery. Oh, it was so awesome. I bought a bottle of perfume. I still have it. It still smells great. And I was able to pick up my cousin's perfume, which was really neat being that it's in this little island in Martinique and I just happened to pop in, you know? So, yeah. That's so why I saved his card. This was big, long. And I think there was an email from her. I don't know. That was just a card. I love it. And labels. This is just some fabric. Actually, this is washi paper. Japanese. Oh, yeah. This is just the end here. Another envelope torn. And pictures. And that's it. And fabric. So I'm running out of camera space. Thank you so, so much for letting me vent about my day. I feel so much better having talked to you. So I'm going to journal a little bit in here and get up and have a happy day. And I hope you guys do too. Thanks a lot for watching. I really mean that. Bye.